This seance was recorded on the 19th of June, 1976, medium Leslie Flint. Auntie Jimmy. Hello, Missy. Oh, gosh, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. I thought you were never coming to talk to me. Oh, no, you mustn't think like that. Sometimes it's more difficult than others, and I do my best, I do. How are you? I'm okay. Oh, it's ever so nice to see you. As usual, you've got a lot of people come around you. You know, I don't think you understand sometimes how close people are to you. I'm inclined not to understand. Well, I suppose it's difficult because you're, you know, busy in your ordinary life and everything, and it's difficult for you to appreciate, as it was, you know, that. But people come very, your, your husband, he is constantly around you. Is he? Yes, and also that rather jolly lady that oh. <laughs> has her hair. Well, she's rather nice, I think. She's lovely. She's a bit of a boy. She's lovely. A tomboy. Yes. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, and um, all the several people here actually got a number of people that are very interested in you. And they're all so thrilled and so happy because things are going well for you. Actually, you know, they helped you more than you know. Oh, but I'm sure. Get sorted out. I'm sure they have helped you. Oh, and definitely, yes, they did, because they helped to influence and um, they use their power to influence people and um, for good, you know. Yes. And I, I know that you're on a threshold, as you call it, of a new life almost, and um, they're all very excited, very pleased, you know. Can you hear me? I can hear you beautifully. And it's sometimes I'm not quite sure if people hear me. I can hear you me. beautifully. Because you always look nice and posh and everything. <laughs> you always say I'm posh. Well, you are in a way, I think, because you're, well, you take a lot of interest in everything in yourself, don't you? And you've got a good education in that. Well, anyway, just a minute. I'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Yes. Is yeah. the uh, thing, is the... Is it going, the mm. machine? Oh, yes, I switched it on. Yeah. Lovely. Come back, Mickey, please. That lady, the... What um, did you say? Just a minute. Um, yeah. Someone calling. Yes, there is something. It sounds like a man. Hello. 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 Can you hear? Well, all I can hear is someone trying to say hello. It sounds like a man. Yeah. <coughs> Sit still. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you fidget. <laughs> Who's that trying to speak, Mickey? Hello. Hello, Jenny. 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 Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm all right. Who is it, please? Yes. Who is it? Spain. You? Spainy? Is it Spainy? What is it? Spainy. Spainy. Oh, I'm all right. So glad to hear the good news. So glad. Say it a bit louder, can you? Can you hear? She's so glad, so glad to hear the good news about your work, I thought she yeah. said. It's all right, is it, about my work? Yes. Spain. You'll help me? You bet, you bet. We pulled strings. What is that? We pulled strings. We pulled strings, I think she said. I think she said we pulled oh, strings. Oh, yes, I'm sure you did. Yes. 
Because it's amazing. Yes, well, it's, it's, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right? Yes. Once you get going. Yes. Worry. You're going to be all right. Don't worry. Can you hear me? I can hear you very softly, but I'm hearing better and better. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to speak as loud as I can. Oh, that's marvelous. It's, it's ages since I had a chance to have a word with you. Oh, it's and ages. I suppose it takes time to get in the habit, you know. Yes. You know, we often come and see you, all of us. Do you? There's a whole crowd of us at times around you. Really? Can it's, you hear it's the first time you're really speaking to me, Spinney. I don't know. All I know is I'm doing my best. I concentrated my mad on this damn thing, you know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, at last you're free. I say you're really free now. Yes. I know how you feel. Very mixed. But you're all right. Don't yes. worry. I don't worry, really. With you helping. What? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? She's saying, can you hear her? She's very faint. And now it's gone um, faint again. Mm. But still, that was wonderful effort. Yes, yes. What? I know. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, so I say, I wish I could speak. Better. You are. I That's know. all right. I get so damn furious. You know, I can't help it. I haven't changed all that much, you know. I bet you're just Don't as you in... know. I'm so impatient. That's half my trouble, you know. It's I lovely. You know me. I want to do a thing. I want to do it properly. But don't worry, everything's going to work out. It takes a little time. I say, I like your new apartment. You do? Yes, I think it's absolutely divine. It's rather sweet, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think it's just right. Not too big, not too small. Quite. I must say, you were jolly lucky to get it. Oh, it was, mar it was yes. marvellous. But you get quite a few bits and pieces. It looks very nice. I think you've done extremely well with it. And Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, down this thing. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How lovely that you're around so much. I see. She's got a group of people with her and she's terribly excited and she's got your husband with her yes. and quite a number of other friends. Did she rather tease your husband? She? Yes. yes. Very much. I think she used to pull his leg quite a bit. Yes. And I think he liked her really. Yes. But he didn't quite understand her, I suppose. No. But um, they're good pals over here, and she's brought him with her, actually. I expect he'll speak to you in a moment. Do you think he can? I think he'll try, anyway. Um, just a moment. Yes. Be patient. I'm being patient. It's yes. wonderful. Um, do wait a moment. You're leaning forward. Yes. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> you get too tense up, it makes it harder to hear. I see. <laughs> it's quite right, I was leaning right forward. Really? Yes. That's another voice. Hello. What is that? Hello. I can't hear. Hear Can you hear? Oh, it's just someone calling your name, hello. saying hello. Hello. It's a masculine voice. Really. Hello, hello. Polly? Somebody seemed to have a bit of an accent. I don't know if that's. Yes, well, it would be. As if it's. That's it. Polly. 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 Hello. 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 Hello, my darling. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. I'm You're here. here. Hello, sir. I'm here. I am here with Nancy. Spelling. Hello. 
Hello, my darling. Are you happy? I'm all right. I, I don't know if you're going to hear me. I, hello, hello, hello. I can hear beautifully. Oh, I'm so, I'm so pleased. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I, I'm very thrilled, you know. I'm very happy that to be here. I, I'm here. I am here. I hear you. I hear you. Sounds like he's got an accent. Yes, and my husband is French. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Bonjour. Polly. Bonjour. Bonjour. I, I am here. I am here. You are here. Is it Polly? Who is it? Who is it? I'm leaning forward again. Who is it? He said Polly three Yes, that's times. right. Everybody calls him Polly, you see. Polly? He's terribly excited. Uh, just a moment. Yes. Um, he's very excited and um, he just, well, he he's a bit emotional. Yes. I think he must have been perhaps rather an emotional person. Yes. He may have controlled himself fairly well on your side, but yes. deep down he was an emotional type. And he's come here with that lady, that, that Nancy Spain lady. Yes. And they're all here together, a little group of them. And he's happy? Oh, he's very happy. And, and he's he speaks English, though. Yes, well, doesn't he? Yes, extremely well. He did on earth, didn't he? Oh, yes. Yes, because he... he we was, we often spoke English together. Yes, he, he seems very anxious to talk to you, and, um, he, well... I think of him a lot, to see you know um, Yes, I know, love. But, um, just a moment, I'll, I'll give him back, just be patient, because mm -hmm. it's a bit new for him, you know, and he's excited and a bit emotional, and, um, well, he needs a little help at the moment. Of course he does. We have to learn how to be patient, don't we, love? Cheer up. Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm cheering up. I'm trying to speak to you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good. How clever of you. I'm so excited, you know. I'm terribly excited. I, I'm here. I'm very pleased to be able to come and speak to you. Hello. 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 I can hear you. It's wonderful. I love you. You do? I love you. I, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Don't worry about me. I'm I... all right. I'm all right. It's you. You look up to yourself. Everything is going well, huh? Everything's going all right. It really is. Nishi. What, darling? Nishi. What does he say? I'm not sure what that sounded like. I'm not sure what it was. Yes, there was one word. I thought it sounded like Rishi. Yes, me too. Ma made me wrong, but... Yeah. I don't see why you say Rishi. There's a reason for it. No, I don't see why. Again, a book. How are you? Polly, Polly is very excited. Who is excited? Polly is, I say Polly is terribly excited. Polly is terribly excited. Don't worry, dear. You'll get better at it. It's just a matter of patience. Is this Spainy, darling? Yes, Spain is speaking. I say, we're doing everything we can to help. Don't worry. I won't worry, darling. Are you all right? Yes, of course I'm all right, dear. 
<laughs> Don't be so impatient. I've been all concentrating my video on him, you see, but he's so terribly excited and he'll be much better at it eventually. Yes, of he's course. He's terribly, terribly thrilled, you know. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you most beautifully. I say you're starting the new job next week. Well, oh, yes, and um, seriously in September. But knowing you, it'll be serious from the start. What, darling? I say knowing you, it's serious from the start. I'll be very serious when it starts. No, she said knowing you, it'll be very serious from the start. Yes, um, well, it's such a chance that you've helped me, all of you. Well, of course we have. We got you sorted out. Yes. We got you sorted out with a flat and everything. Yes. We wanted to see you settled, you know. And um, Polly's terribly excited, you know. He's so happy for you as well. But you know, he's settled down extremely well. Has and he? we were all there to meet him. How wonderful. We were all there to help him when he came over. How marvelous. And, you know, although he didn't perhaps understand all this, yeah. it, it did help him. He did know a little, you know. You it's know, he never really understood it, but yeah. I mean, this business of communicating and all that, but now, of course, he's, he's so excited and thrilled about being able to get back to you. He'll watch over you, like we all shall, you know. Don't yeah. drop me, will you, Spaney? Don't be silly, as if we could possibly drop you. Don't be silly. I wouldn't drop you for the world. You know, I, I, you know we were always so close, all of us. We were so close. So close, you and me. Yes, this is what I mean. We were so very close, you know. I miss you. And, and you know, although at first I felt a bit resentful of being, well, coming over here like that, I mean, I, I, I was feeling pretty bad about it, but now I'm all right. I've got myself adjusted. I'm very active over here, and I'm very, very happy, and I, I just really wouldn't want to come back to live in your world anymore. Not now. I'd like to come and see you and help you, of course, but I wouldn't want to live in your world anymore. Good, I'm glad that you're all right. But you mustn't worry about Polly. Polly's perfectly all right. No aches or pains. He's young again. You know, he looks donkey's years younger. Really? He's so active. And you know, you'd be so thrilled if you could see him. You mustn't think of him as he was at the end. You must try to realize now he's lost all that. He's young and full of life. Full he of must be thrilled. Oh, he's delighted. He's happy. He's terribly excited about everything. He just wants you to know he's here. Thank constantly you. Constantly with you at home, helping you in every way he can. And he's so happy that you've got sorted out, and particularly about the apartment. It's a very nice apartment you've got. You were lucky in a way, although we did help you. Oh, I mean, it's entirely uh, because of you all that I managed to get it. Well, that's true. That's true. And it's so convenient. Wonderful. Wonderful. You got Polly's watch. I can come quite here. You got Polly's watch. I so got Polly's watch in Paris. Yes. And I will wear it in Paris. Yes, go on. He'd like you to wear it, I think. He likes me to wear it. Oh, yes, he'd like you to wear it. Yeah. I'm wearing your rings, baby. Yeah, I can see them. You can see them? Yes, of course I can. But you know, <laughs> Polly would like you to wear something of his, not just mine, you know. Yes, of course. I can't have any jealousy. You can't have any jealousy, she said. No, yes, of course I understand. But um, I wear your watch sometimes, then I wear his yes. when I work. Oh, it's lovely, Spaney. I'll give you a jolly good hug and kiss. I wish you would. I think she must have been very fond of you, this lady, this Nancy. I Spaney. think she really was. Yeah, she was a strange lady, though, wasn't she? She's a lovely lady. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm sure she is. I know she is. Brilliant. Very, she's very amusing and very witty, ain't yes. she? And she's, um, I don't know, quite a character. Quite a character. But she was fond of your husband, but I think that he was, um, well, he was fond of her too, but I think he, I don't know, I don't think he quite understood her. No. 
that you're absolutely... I think he was a little bit nervous of her in a strange kind of way. Yes. I think he liked her, but at the same time he thought she was a little bit odd. A little bit exaggerate. Well, it's not kind of what you call it, but she's larger than life. You know, larger than life. You know, she'd come into a room and you knew she was there all right. That's for sure. And uh, I think your husband was rather more on the quiet side. Very. And I think he was a bit what you call circumspect, is that it? That's quite right. And she was outre, whatever that means. Absolutely right. Why does he use that word, um, what is outre? <laughs> outre means that she was exaggerated. Oh, and he says she was so outre, but he, he accepted her because, well... She was... We were so fond of each other, yes. you see, and she gave me such a glorious time. Yes, <laughs> but you can't help laughing because I think he was a bit possessive, your husband. Well, isn't everybody... No, he loved you very much, but I he was so. a difficult man at times, and yes. I think he has a conscience about it. Well, tell him he needn't anymore. You see, the last years of his life, haven't they? Yes. He depended more and more upon you. That's true. And you had to more or less do everything. That's and true. I think he, I don't say he took you for granted, but, well, yes, I suppose in the kind of way he did, but um, he realises now the strain he put on you. That's true. But at the same time, he wasn't altogether responsible. He, he couldn't help it, could no, he? No. But he Ill. loved you very much. And he just wants you to know that he's grateful and he's watching over you and helping you, trying to help you from this side. And he and that Nancy lady, yes. the two of them, although they were opposites in every way, opposites they get on awfully well over here. That's lovely, isn't it? But of course there are a lot of other people here too. Yes. And uh, your Who mummy, your mm -hmm. mummy. Yes. And there's a sister. Yes. That comes, mm -hmm. your, your sister. There's your mummy, there's your sister, there's your husband, yeah. there's Spanish, you know. Yes. And um, there are quite a number of other people too, the people who were in the theatre. Yes. Can you talk to me about them? Yes, just a moment. Well, there's one gentleman who I've seen before called Mr. Coward. Yes, bless uh, his and, heart. And he was very fond of you too. And you kept his painting anyway. Yes. And he's pleased that you've put it where you've put it. That's lovely. And he says it's a good position for it, for the light. That's true. And he says that he knows that you treasure it because he painted it and gave it to you. That's absolutely true. He's very pleased true. about that. And, um, I miss him and I think of him every day. I you? adored him. Well, he, yes, um, he says that <laughs> he's a bit of a wit. Yes. What did he say? He says that he appreciates the adoration. Yes. But he says that um, he knows with you it's sincere. Yes. But he used to get such a lot of flattery, evidently, from people. Yes. That he began to be, well, he was rather suspicious of their motives. Yes. But not of mine. Not of yours, no. No. I'm going to stay in his house this summer. Yes, that's what he's telling me about this house. Yeah. But there's two fellows there. Right. And he says that um, you're going to stay with these two fellows. That's true. That they're friends of his. Yes. One was his secretary. Right. And the other one was just a friend, I suppose. Yes. But he says that they cleaned it up. I don't know what he means by that. They did what? Cleaned it up. What do you mean, cleaned it up? Creamed it up? Cleaned. Clean it up, that's true, absolutely true. He says that it's rather different to when he was there. Not very different. Well, wait a moment. He says they've cleaned it up. Yes. And they have made some slight alterations, yes. which you will notice. Of course. And um, he keeps on about the bathroom floor. He says that, um, oh dear. He says the last thing he remembers is losing consciousness and something about the bathroom floor, do you know? Well, maybe that's when he came out, went over. Well, I, I don't, don't know. know. All I know is he says that it, he, he, things began to swim. Yes. And he says the last thing he remembers is the bathroom floor. Maybe. I don't know whether that makes sense. Well, I will find out. And, um, wait a moment, do you know who Tommy is? Tommy? Yes. 
not really. Who's talking about Tommy, or is he up there? Wait a moment. Tommy. Is he on this side or on your side? On your side, I think. Yeah, and who's speaking about it? Is that Spainy? Yes, Spainy's talking about somebody she calls Tommy. Quite right. She yes. said, if you see Tommy, yes. will you remember her to Tommy? Yes, but I never do see Tommy. And she says she's been rather disappointed about Tommy. Yes. Uh, I don't quite know why she should say that. She won't tell me. I can but tell she you. she says that Tommy hasn't played... Oh, I don't know if I should say this. She says that Tommy hasn't fulfilled what sh she hoped. Quite right. That's and she says that it's rather disappointing, but there she says, so la vie, whatever it is, oh, what? that's life. Yes, c'est la vie. So la vie, <laughs> that's life. That's says. mean, that's but true. But this person, rather disappointed her, because yeah. this person she thought a great deal of. That's quite true. And Tommy didn't play, well, I don't know if I should say this, but only Tommy didn't turn out Trump. She didn't come up to scratch. No, he didn't. But I haven't seen him again. Not since she went away. But she had a great regard for Tommy. It was her son. Him. It was and her she son. she says Tommy has not turned out as well as she'd hoped. Right. And she said there, she said that's life. And she said that he's got some good qualities, but yeah. he's a fool to himself. Yeah, it's true. Pity, ain't it? Yes, it is. She's very concerned about Tommy, really. Of course she is. And you know, she said she tried to make a go of it, but it was very hard. Yes. And she said she had to be herself at all costs. True. But she said Tommy was very dear to her. Yes. And she only wishes that Tommy would, well, sort of put his socks up, so yes. the way she puts it. Yes. Funny, isn't it? It's sad. Yes, yeah, sad, but I mean, well, there you are, is he in his twenties or early thirties? Uh, yes, um, uh, he must be in his twenties now. Well, she says he's, he's touching, th getting, you know. He's, I suppose he is. You know, time flies. I look up when he. I look up the date of his birth. Well, why worry? Hold on. Hello. Can you hear me? Who, who is it? Oh, I expect to be terribly surprised. Oh, it's a marvellous voice. Is it? I yeah. haven't the faintest idea, of course, what it sounds like, but I'm so anxious to come and talk to you. My name is Lawrence, Gertie. Gertie Lawrence? Yes. No. Why are you so surprised? Well, because... I never know. Oh, how wonderful! I just want to say hello to you. But how sweet of you! I haven't a clue, of course. I mean, this is all rather new to me in a way. I mean, I have had some experience of it, and I said to Noel, I said, if I could possibly get through, I'd say a few words. But you said, Noel and I are very close, as you can well imagine. Of course. And we're so anxious to help you, and mm. we're doing everything we can for Polly. How marvellous! But he must be so thrilled to have met you. Oh, well, I guess so. Because I always spoke about you, but I never knew you. I know. But I adored you and admired you. very kind, but I just felt I had to come and say hello to you. Because, you know, well, it's marvellous, really. I mean, I never thought I'd ever be able to do this whole thing, but I just felt, well, Nell said, have a go, old girl, you know. <laughs> so I thought, well, here goes. Why doesn't anyway, he have we're all here, a crowd of us, you know, and we're doing everything we can to help Polly. Bless his heart. You do want to worry about him. He's perfectly all right. He seems to be having <laughs> rather a nice time. Oh, yes. He's having a wonderful time. Oh, it's marvellous. Anyway, I mustn't stay. Oh, please. Goodbye. How wonderful having spoken to you. What a clear voice. Marvellous, isn't it? Mm. Extraordinary voice. Yes. Why doesn't Noel have a go? He says he always got paid for performing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how wonderful. But well, I'll pay him sometime. He's <laughs> funny, isn't Oh. Typical. Now he's laughing all over his face. Oh, my mum. He said, for you, you give a raw performance. Oh. He's laughing also about your television appearance. Oh, uh, he would laugh. He always used to laugh at me. He says you make a good impression. 
Did I? Yes, he says you make a very good impression. Good? But he says it's funny. What does he say? What does he say? I haven't laughed like this for years. What did he say about me and television? generous of him and he says you mustn't get a complex right he says you stand out because you are you wonderful and he was always very strict but and severe says, with me he says you were very unfortunate with the man called is his name robin who's robin on on the television thing Oh, I should imagine that he m means Robert Robinson. I don't know. It's, Robinson. Uh, was he a bit dicey? Difficult. Very di dicey. Because he says he wasn't exactly anyone's choice, but you had to do the best you could. I did he the says you did better than you think. Good. But he says um, it takes all kinds, and he says, so what? Right. He says you got it over. Good. Hold on. He's a funny bloke. Oh, he's more than that. So kind, so kind. 
Oh, thank you for speaking to me. As a matter of fact, I... Matter of fact, yes. Mickey, who is was that? I think it's a lady's husband. Oh yes, he, Louis Casson. He's trying to speak because he, you see, Noel Coward. Yes. And Gertie Lawrence. Yes. And a lot of other theatrical people. Yes. Um, they all cling together, you know, over here. And when anyone like that lady who tried to speak to you comes over, they're all there to meet. Oh, and wonderful. Help, you see. And. Um, uh, this other gentleman is um, that lady's husband. Yes, of course. He came some few years before, you see. Yes. And he's trying desperately to get through a thing. Hold on. But they're not people you know, are they? Well, the... Uh, hardly. <coughs> I wonder if um, I could give anybody a message for them. Could I? This is Lewis speaking. Lewis, hmm? yeah. Lewis Casson. Yes, I just want to say a few words about uh, dear Sybil and myself and all of us here for that matter. We're delighted to be able to come and speak, if only for a few moments of your very precious time. And just to say that dear Sybil is very well, very happy. She's now become fully aware and conscious of her new surroundings. And of course, dear Noel and all the other dear souls that have met us and helped us over the years. You know, it's remarkable, absolutely remarkable, that one can manifest, as you term it, or speak in this fashion. And of course, Nancy Spain, uh, who I met, and of course, Sybil Newell, who, she's been a great blessing and a great help to many. And of course, Sybil has now become fully a conscious and fully aware of her new set surroundings and she's extremely happy. Ivor was very much around too. Who is? Uh, he met. Who was that? We all met Sybil, of course, Ivor. Oh, Ivor. yes! And um, indeed it's a great joy and a great blessing to think that we can link up and contact in this fashion. And no doubt when Sybil has rested and adjusted herself more fully to her new way of life here, she will no doubt be delighted to come back. You know, Sybil always had a great belief in life to come. Yes. And of course now she knows, with no shadow of a doubt, and the fact that she's here with us and the happy reunion with all her old friends and associates, Mrs. Horniman, and Miss Horniman, Yes. I wouldn't remember this is going back far too long. Miss Horniman. Miss Horniman. Of course, that goes back 50 odd years or more, the early days of one's career. And of course, no doubt, as you can well imagine, one of the most excited people to meet my darling wife uh, was, was GBS, uh, you know. Who? Who was that last person? GBS. Sure. Me. Who? Did you understand? Well, I think I do. But Who was it? Oh, don't worry, dear lady. This is GBS. Sure. Surely, man, you could not fail to have heard of GBS. We all gathered around to meet dear Sybil. When she came. Surely, madam, you must have seen some of my plays. It's, G it's George Bernard Shaw. Oh, it's GBS! That's what I say, madam. Yes. <laughs> but I. Uh, now I realize. Uh, you may, may, may wonder why uh, I should come and speak to you, but uh, we're all here. Oh, yeah, helping our dear friends. Oh, yeah, helping each other. Bless you. Oh, bye bye. Thank you for coming to speak to me. 
I suppose at times it must seem quite odd, quite strange to people in your world who have no realization of these things. But you know, we do come very close to your world and we do endeavor as best we can to be of help. We may not always be seen or heard, but we're off times around and about you and we help you in our own way. It may not always be obvious, but we do as best we can to help and to be of service. May you I have no need, my dear, to be unduly worried or unduly concerned about your husband or any of the near and dear ones that you have known and loved and still love. They are close to you at times, helping you in any way that they can. Of course, you know, when I was on your side of life, I had no knowledge of this subject. But since I've been here, I felt such a desire to be of help and comfort and service to others. And we all band together, crowds of us here, people that, well, perhaps you wouldn't anticipate or expect would come back from our world to yours. But we come back as one, though we're differing in our outlook and temperament and in our personalities and in our character, no doubt, we are all part of the same spirit. We're all part of the same God's will and purpose. We're all endeavoring in our own fashion, in our own way, to be of help and comfort and service. And it's a great joy to know that your loved ones, I'm sure, are so near to you. And your dear husband, I know you've had to learn to readjust. But that's, well, you've done that very well. And you've been helped. And in this new work that you've undertaken, I'm quite sure you're going to be extremely happy and it's going to be very fulfilling for you. I know that everything is working out very well and you're in good hands and you have no cause of worry or undue anxiety. You're going to be well cared for and helped, my dear. Don't worry, everything is all right. May I know your name? Oh dear, my dear, you wouldn't know me from Eve or Adam or... Why? Names are inconsequential. I'd love I've to I've been be. here quite a number of years, you know. And of course I didn't necessarily understand all this sort of thing, but I've learned by experience over here. You know, I was in the theatre too. I don't know your name. Oh, it's please so don't. important. Yes, I'd love to know if you've taken all this trouble to come and speak to me, I'd like to know your name. Mickey, who was it? Sometimes they don't always want to give you their name. No. I, think. I think they're inclined to be a little afraid of being judged or thought of as once they were, that may be an excuse. Is somebody in the theatre? Oh, obviously. My name, probably, will have little meaning for you. There's no reason why it should mean anything. My name is Braithwaite. I was, or am, still Lillian Braithwaite. Lillian Braithwaite? Of course I knew oh, you. Oh, but it's a long time ago. Oh, Why it is. you remember? I know your daughter. Joyce. Joyce. You yeah. know Joyce? Of course. Oh, well. And I saw you in the vortex. Oh, really? Yes. Well, it's very nice to be remembered. But nevertheless, it's... I suppose we all have to accept the obvious fact that eventually we'll be forgotten. Why? But it doesn't really matter. So you saw me in the vortex. I'm afraid that rather dates you. I'm afraid it does. <laughs> and I saw you in many other things. Oh. Oh, arsenic and old lace. Yes. 
Well, I don't want to take up time. Oh, but that is but lovely. Well, yeah, dear, dear, no. You know, he. You know, really, I adore him. He's really the most remarkable character. He's yes. been such a great help to me and many of us here. We're all banded together as one, you know. How wonderful. I wish I knew more about this business of communication. Perhaps eventually I shall. But you're absolutely perfect at it. And I really. I have a clue. Perfect. I can hear every word. Well, do come again. I'd love to. I must go. Goodbye. Goodbye and thank you. And if you see Joyce, tell her, but she won't believe you. Yeah, I don't think she'll believe me, you know. But I'll try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Joyce Carey was dead. No, no, no. She's just had an operation for her hips. Oh, uh, really? Yes, for one hip. She's a great friend of my sister's. I'll never see you again. Who is this? I'll never see you again. going. I hope you'll come again soon. Are, they, are you going now? I'm afraid I have to in a minute. But, um... Oh, Polly, bless his heart, he's so thrilled, oh. and he's so happy, I'm and so don't worry about him, I'm and so look after yourself, and we'll keep an eye on you. Please.